Hi, I'm Kevin from Kitronic, and this is our new quartz clock movement. It's great quality and great value, and it's really easy to assemble. It's supplied us a pack of parts which are easy to put together. So let's take a closer look and see how we can do that now. So here are the parts that you receive when you buy a clock movement. We have the main clock movement itself, you can see it here. And there's a section for the battery, and this little cog here adjusts the time. We then have fixing hardware to connect the movement onto your clock face. So we have a rubber washer, a brass washer, and a nut here. And then we have the clock hands themselves. So we have an hour hand, a minute hand, and a second hand. And it's worth noting that these hands are slightly different to the older movement that we used to sell. If I bring these in here, you can see that the new hands are slightly longer, though the quality of the moulding is very good. So, one last point is that the construction of these clocks is very good. So if we do things like put the hands on and off and on and off, we can see that the movement stays together nicely and none of the parts come to pieces. So it's a really nice little clock movement. And now let's see how we can assemble all these parts to, to create an actual clock. So here we have one of our MDF clock faces, which we sell. So if we want to use the clock movement and this MDF clock face to make a clock, I'll show you how they go together. So as we can see in the center, we have a, a hole for the clock movement to go into and fix onto. So first of all, we take the clock movement and then we use this rubber washer, which goes over the top. And then we push the spindle through the hole in the clock face. And the purpose of the rubber washer is to, when it's tightened, to stop this face turning. So that's, that goes on first, then we drop over the little brass washer, and then we take the nut which screws onto the threaded section. Obviously you could use a spanner to get this nice and tight, but I'll just do it thing at a time. You can see that that's fixed that on now. You can see here that the spindle has quite a long threaded section, and this is to allow you to fix the clock movement onto thicker or thinner clock faces. We then take the clock hands. So as you can see, we start with the, the hour hand, and this has a, the bigger hole. When we put it onto the clock movement, we can see that there's a concentric plastic tubes, and the hour hand pushes onto the outer one of these. Then we take the minute hand, which is a slightly smaller hole. This goes onto the next plastic tube which is slightly smaller and lastly we take the second hand and this goes onto a central pin that sits in the middle so what happens is the pin and the two plastic tubes are concentric to each other and can move around so then when we put the battery in we can see the second hand moving you can see that from the side There we have it, a fully assembled clock movement onto a clock face. So that's our great clock movement. You can buy these in a range of pack sizes, so if you need one or hundreds and shorts of pack size to suit you, and you can buy these today from kitronic.co.uk.